Again, it's Priscilla Battelle in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And it is raining slightly as we begin to fill this dish as best we can with some Anita's White Metallic, which I'm going to use this dish, hopefully, with a shovel and probably also not, to scoop paint out onto a black primed canvas, matte black, because that's the way I bought it and it's been in my studio for a while. And uh, I'm just going to use my shovels and my scoops and hope that I have the capacity to make some interesting patterns. Um, maybe better ones than the last time, but uh, right at the moment I'm thinking that I may give myself the opportunity to fill a few, a few shovels without, um, without having any extra paint mixed. And I am not going to spare the colors. I thought I would try and moderate my color choices, but come out, whoops, <laughs> come out twice. All right, so as soon as I, it looks to me like I have enough color to start, I will. That's the, um, the folk art neon, which needs white near it to work functionally well. I like the Mystique by Art Minds, and that's what that turquoise teal color is. I'm going to try and leave my tops off, and I like that teal with the minty green. Actually, that's the turquoise. I used the minty green already, so uh, those are color shifts also. Do I want any yellow in there? It's black, so I might really appreciate some yellow, although the last time I used yellow, I wasn't particularly thrilled with the result. Um, I don't know if it's going to keep raining or not. I am looking for a, yet another color. What will it be? Oh, there's no gold in there. I, I was thinking about silver too, but um, I don't think it's easily accessible. I may actually squeeze a little extra gold into something or other. I guess I can add all kinds of colors if I want to. I've shaken up all my colors before we started. I have a pouring medium of GAC 800 with paint and then Floetrol and Decor pouring medium added to that mixture. And the recipe is underneath the video. Ooh, I found a great color. I think that's just another color shift, but that's okay because I'd really, really appreciate that being there. kind of want some more black, but I think I'm good. I think I'm going to come back again to this. This favorite is a, uh, another Art Minds color. And that looks like enough to me. And hopefully I've left the tops off my bottles so that I can grab those. And now, there's my shovel and there's my iPod box. And I'm going to rest those over here. I don't think you can see them once I get into position. And I put my canvas down where I could get at it, where the rain would hopefully not get at it. And it doesn't really fit on my turntable very, very well. So I'll move a couple more things out of the way over here because I can. The name of my book and the Amazon link. Yeah, that made no sense though. Okay, well I've got all kinds of tools and some of them are in my way. So I'm going to do my best to give myself a shovel full of paint. And maybe I'll start with my colors. I think that's a good plan. A few more things out of the way. All right, taking too long to start. Hate that. Let's just grab pretty colors. And I realize I don't really have anything to um, wipe my bottom off on, but I'm going to try it anyway. All right, I don't really know if I want to start at the edge. I kind of gave myself a promise that I would let the shovel leave little marks if I wanted, like that. As soon as the gaps come, just incorporate them into the design. And let's see if that'll go all the way across. I think if I pull out a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, I can have my... looks like fire to me. I'm really liking that. Yep, just blew it right over the edge. I'm going to take what's on my... in my shovel from... My, from the shovel with using my finger. Yeah. More and more. I have more trouble with my tongue every day. I think I'm going to do the same thing on the other end. Actually, you know what? I'm going to start it with a skewer. And just sort of herd it toward, toward the edge. 
and then steal a little paint to make that cohesive. Now, my whole idea was to have enough room to work, but um, right here somewhere I put down, there it is, that'll work, one of my Sharpie containers. And I'm going to grab, hopefully, and actually, I'm going to add, wow, scrape off your bottom is right, and uh, I'm going to add a whole bunch more orange to that, because I can. I don't know why I get nervous before I do this. See if I can tip that up enough to help that get all the way to the edge. I was sitting in the house editing my pictures all day and I just kept thinking about wanting to do this until I couldn't stand it anymore and it's probably after five. So the nice thick end of this that I'm prob is probably right out of your view is thick enough for me to use the skewer on to pull it down. And I'm liking that orange way more than I was expecting to. So there's the double. There's some of that. And scraping off the bottom of the shovel is a pretty interesting proposition right at this point. Because there's no hard edge for that container. I am going to use just what I see over there and integrate it with the skewer again. Even though they're beautiful colors, I want the paint to go over the edge. And I'm going to grab some more paint. I was going to use some solid colors, but I'm not sure that I'm going to do that anymore, to tell you the truth. But I do want that other orange color that I didn't leave the top off of. And what else? Maybe just a little bit of this other. Let's see if I can get that orange to come down. Yeah, I'm not using the flat edge, but I'm still expecting a similar result. I don't know if that's smart or not. It's just going to be a completely different width than what I expected, or anything else, basically. Just sort of pulling that out. With the skewer, because I can. And I'm not liking that at all. I think I'm going to like that better, even though I made that comment about yellow earlier. Yeah, that's not so bad. I can deal with that. I want some blue. What I've got is some turquoise. And some more orange. My paint pan is in the way. Okay, don't hold the container over the canvas and expect it to work out well. Yeah, I'm having a little space issue. So far, so good. Except for my... Everything's in the way today. Why is that? I don't know, but I'm going to grab some white. And some more purple. And I'm going to try and start away from where I want to go. I thought I would put a, want to put a, paint, a point on that, but I don't really anymore. I wish I could have some of that orange at the end there. I don't think I'm going to get it, though. Maybe if I just keep... Oh, so much patience required. 
Am I going to get it? No, sort of. Not completely. Sometimes I have to do this and then tip. There, yeah, that's alright. I'm okay with that. Do I want it to? I guess I do. I just want to see what I can get away with using my little scoop tool. Edge. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I am not okay with the fact that I keep running into my paint bottles with my... The canvas keeps running into my paint container because the paint container is running into the paint bottles and I am going to put some black in there because I like black. Maybe it should be in the shovel. Yes. Okay, so shovel full of paint and then some black. So that made it a bigger shovel full. I want white in there too. <laughs> oh well, too, well. too bad. I'm going to tip it this time. I'm going to take some of this paint off this end. Yeah, I had an accident. Oh well. It's not perfect. Oh well, this is not this is not the place to look for perfection in fluid art, I don't think. Somebody can do it, but it's not me. All right, so I have enough paint in there to do what? Not much. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little more. I'm not sure those are the colors I want, so I'm going to turn this dish around. That's interesting. So far, I'm not hating this. The shine, the shimmer factor will be awesome, I'm pretty sure. And the rain seems to have stopped. And I'm just sort of nudging the paint to where I want it to go with my skewer. And even changing the pattern inside. I really just wanted to see right then what would happen if I did that right there after that paint's been sitting for a little while. Container is always in the way though. More paint bottles go away. I will figure this out. I will. So, I think I need something down here and I'm liking the idea of the white. I've also got this idea that if I Take the shovel and scoop some paint up and put it into my Sharpie container, I'll get yet another kind of design. Which way do I want to go from? I don't even know if you can see that. I'm sorry. I think I will be covering that spot with some black gesso tomorrow. I don't know why I did that. I kind of liked the orange before. I added something to it. I'm going to nudge that into place. Make some, some hieroglyphics. And I think I can just cover that with a spot of orange. Let's see if I can. You never know until you try. Yep, that's as much of a hide as I would expect to get away with, to tell you the truth. It still fools the eye. I want to put some dots in there. I really want some more colors that I don't have. I want some of this 
purple color shift from Art Minds and some blue that I put away. There we go. I'm over here. <laughs> Hopefully the cells are popping. All right, so I have quite a bit of paint and something that does not belong. I wish I could turn my my entire canvas around. Perfect. And I'm going to keep using things I've left around for shovel rest. And I'm just going to lead, hopefully, without making it too muddy, colors toward the edge. Wipe off the skewer in between. Maybe look for some gold in my in my little pan of colors over there and just dip the skewer in and use it to lead the other colors. Or, better yet, just take some of that orange and put it right there right now. Lead it right over the side. I think the red will go on its own. I do like how the white looks in there, so I'm thinking some white here. I've got some awesome, awesome stripey colors. I'm going to put the stripey colors in and then I'm going to waggle my white in. And then I'm going to put some more. Oh wow, that was fast. All right, well I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is usually shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you and it helps me out. I'm going to Oh boy, am I? Yeah, I am. I'm going to go right up from the edge there. And use my skewer to make it, to bend it to my will. To make it go where I want it to go, hopefully. And I might need some more colors in there to make it interesting. Can I have them? I wonder. I don't want to make it so thick that I can't appreciate the colors because they spread out too far. I haven't put any dots in. This is still kind of cool. I'm not hating my composition and that's nice. Well, I guess I was going there anyway. So I said shop my Amazon link, and I should also tell you under the video you can find the paint pouring recipe, and Pinterest, and Instagram, and Twitter accounts if you should be interested. I don't do a lot with Twitter. The Pinterest boards are pretty cool though. I actually think I might have got away with that. I haven't done quite this much leading with the skewer before. I'm not really unhappy about it. I think I might want to link those two think places up, even though they're not the same at all. Since the paint is wet, I can do that. What else should I tell you guys? I sell my art. There should probably be a part two to this, but I'm not going to guarantee that there will be, because I'm kind of okay with what's going on. Um, I love you guys. There's, there's pretty much 80,000 of you right now. i got one minute left. And I'm in the middle of a stroke, so I can't stop that timer. I'm so sorry if I'm bothering you guys. I give lessons at the house. Whoops, that was wrong. And um, I had crib sheets, but I kind of lost them. I need your thumbs up. That's really important. And on the end screens, there's a contest and an exhibition video where if you want to help me contribute, if you want to help me by contributing to keep the studio rolling and keeping, it, keeping me in paint, then... Um, all you have to do is look for the PayPal or Patreon links underneath the video and that will allow you to be entered in the contest so long as your donation is $10 or more. There are two paintings and or, well, or a $160 credit and a copy of my book signed this month. I'm going to use the rest of that paint right there. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link. I love you guys. I will see you anon. The wind is coming up. It makes me nervous when that happens because I'm always afraid my painting's going to blow away. But um, I will see.